This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, is there a way to align vertices on a model? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I have a cylinder example here loaded in. So let's say you're working on a model like this inside of ZBrush, and maybe you had something incorrectly masked when you performed a move, and you end up getting this kind of topology line like this. So you really want this line to be straight, However, now it's doing something like this. Well, let's say you could try to fix this with the move brush. So I can hit B on my keyboard, isolate by the letter M, and then select V. And you come through and say, try to select one of these verts and move them to that center line, but that doesn't really work. You could even try to get creative with the mirror and weld function. So I switch to say the move transpose line and move it off center a little bit, and then go to the geometry tab and open up, say, modify topology, and now do a mirror and weld, which will get rid of the anomaly there of that topology, but it's also going to change my shape. So is there any way to come through and align these vertices back up so they're nice and straight? So the process to do this involves using the clip brush. So if I hold Control and Shift on my keyboard, this will give you the select rectangle. And now if I come up here and click, you're see you're gonna get all these different curve brushes you can select. And the one we're looking for is this clip curve. So now if I select clip curve and I come across my model, and I hold control and click and drag, you're gonna get this clip line. Now what this clip line does, it's going to take any topology that's on the side of the line that has that gradient and mash it to the line. So if I hold space bar just to reposition this, position this like so, and now I apply the clip here, it's going to take this line and this line and it's gonna collapse it to the clip line here. So if I just click and release this, you'll see it's gonna take those two areas there and smash it into that clip line is. Now this did not perform any welds or any kind of cleanup on the mesh. So this just has geometry smashed into each other. So if I take the smooth brush and hold down shift and smooth this out, you're gonna see those two edges are still there. So the clip brush just takes geometry and mashes it to the clip line. So if I want this to go back to be a straight line, I just need to come through and mash these vertices to that clip line. So the clip brush will also respect masking. So if I hold control and just drag a mask box out like this and just mask those vertices there, and then I'm gonna hold control and click off to invert that, now just these vertices are unmasked on this mesh. So now I can take that clip line by holding control and shift and dragging it out, and now I can position it like this, and when I release, it's only going to mash those unmasked vertices, and it's gonna mash them all to that line. So clipping everything to that line. So if I clip this cylinder here and just let go, you see it's gonna take all those vertices that are out in space doing that weird topology, and it's going to create a straight line. So it's taking those vertices and mashing them to there. So now I have fixed or aligned those edges there. So that process again, let me just undo this is first find the area you want to align, mask it out, invert the mask, so it's the only thing that's unmasked there. Then make sure you have the clip curve brush selected, draw that on out on your mesh, and then when you release, it's going to take all those vertices and mash them to that edge. So performing an alignment. Now this will work on any parts of your model as well. So let's say with this cylinder here, I wanna take all the vertices here and mash them so they're all straight. So I wanna make a flat side to the cylinder. So I can do that same process, holding Control and Shift to grab that clip curve. I can now drag this out, hold space bar to reposition it, position it, say, right here, and then release, and it's going to take all those points there and mash it to that edge. So now, if I want this to be perfectly straight, so you can see I have a little bit of an anomaly here, and mask that part out, invert that mask, now get that clip curve brush again, and draw it out in the alternate direction. So it's always going to mash the gradient side to the line. I can now position it here and release, and I now have aligned all those vertices. So using the clip curve brush will allow you to perform alignments inside of ZBrush. If you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.